Hello everyone, welcome back to a delayed episode of Slightly Askew. Today we are focusing on Bear, who will finally be starting the remixology career, as I've been saying this entire time. So it did cost him a 1,300 simoleon deposit, or fee, to perform. I'm not sure if that's standard in the industry, but there you go. Wait, he's so excited to be starting here. Do you hear him just chortling away to himself? <laughs> Bless him. So his first set went pretty well, it seems. Uh, there was only one older lady dancing away, but she seemed to be having a good time, so, you know, take what you can get. In the meantime, it turns out that Contrary's friend Rhea had retired, so I was like, ooh, quick, better finish that story before her dreaded birthday cake of death appears. Rhea, of course, was non-committal as ever, even though I'm pretty sure she doesn't have long to live at this point. So now might be the time to lock it in, ladies. So Rhea says, I've got some free time again. Scheduling miracle. Want to hang out? My schedule's free too. Great, I'll mark the time in my calendar as booked. Done. Now it's official. We can hang out. So they spent the day together, catching up on gossip having a bit of a dance. If you've ever wondered what two older ladies dancing sophisticatedly looks like, it's this, apparently. And after all this time, they clearly still have got each other's backs. You know, even though we're too busy to hang out all the time, I still consider you a great friend. Me too. It's nice to have someone who can relate to how busy I am. Here's to flexible friendships. And so with that, we've finally completed the rain check please story, and we won a vest. That's great. <laughs> Okay, so Bear is throwing a big concert party at the house um, in celebration of his foray into EDM. So we're just here greeting guests at first. So it looks like this is Savannah Symington, who I think is one of Rhea's kids. That's cool, that generations are continuing to grow amongst our friends. So I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but the relationships between my sims are all listed wrong. Lyric is supposedly Bear's grandmother, and his mother Contrary is supposedly his aunt. The roots of this family tree are apparently very tangled. So over here we have a very cool looking young lady showing up to the party. I really like her blue hair. Uh, this is Ashley May, so I'm going to have Lyric greet her and welcome her to the party. Now it's time to really get this party started. Let's get Bear over here to drop the beat for Lyric. Get over here, Granny. We want everyone to get over here on the dance floor. September can hang out with Dean. I feel like September would definitely be out here chatting up all the guys at the party. She's young and boy crazy, right? I would do more flirty actions, but Contrary's being a bit of a third wheel over here at the moment. And September looking over her shoulder like, Mom, do you mind? I'm trying to chat up the boys. I also have no idea how old Dean's supposed to be, or whether he's married with kids, maybe. Who knows in this game? I do feel like we need to get some romantic stories going in this series, though. Anyone got any eligible single sims they want to send my way? So we're going to continue with the Judgy Bud story that September's been doing with Bear. 
So let's have her ask about favourites. She's trying to relate to him, to his music, but, you know, they don't really have anything in common. Watch TV. They are currently laughing at a blank screen. I think they've completely lost the plot, or maybe they're a bit drunk already. So we're trying a risky action. Well, that was a failure. September got distracted by Peter walking past girl. I'm not sure about Dean, but Peter is definitely too old for you. Bear is not happy about that. Right, so that's that chapter done. This was super fun. We should do it again. Tiny thing though, I usually put dirty dishes in the sink and not under the couch. Oh, sorry, I was just having so much fun that it slipped my mind. No worries, I had a lot of fun too. Yeah, this is a party, September. Why are you being such a nag? You're not my mum. Although, with this messed up family tree, who knows anymore? Maybe we can go out for dinner sometime. Mexican food? I love a good burrito. Mmm, yeah, one of my guilty pleasures is eating enchiladas in bed over a towel. The towel protects my pillow from melted cheese, see? Ew, what? I mean, oh, how clever. Maybe someday you can upgrade to a tarp. So after that little bonding session, let's have them perform a heartwarming duet together. This is just the cutest thing, I swear to God. <laughs> They're doing quite well. I didn't know September had those lungs on her. Hey, Maria, do you mind? We're performing here. Honestly, these sims don't care who they trot on, do they? It does seem that everyone gets slightly less tuneful as the night goes on. Particularly Lyric. <laughs> Look at her, she's just given up and she's staring vacantly into space, like, I have had way too much to do this. Alright, I'm gonna start a new story at this party. I've got a lot of rival stories still to do. So Bear has just spotted Ashley May, and it seems that he is not happy to see her. Excuse me, I am trying to harass this party guest. Stop talking to her. Thank you. I shall rudely yawn at you. That's right, I interrupted your conversation with someone else just to be bored by you. Oops. Hey Dean. Sorry, I don't want to talk to you right now. I'm trying to insult her. Let's give her a backhanded compliment. Let's mock her relentlessly. Yes, Bear, very mature. I feel like Bear is generally a pretty nice guy, but he can also be a little insensitive. And he might just have a bit of bad blood with Ashley May. So now that we've antagonized her enough, let's go ahead and start the old rival story. Blast from the past, indeed. It's nice running into you like this, it's been too long. Don't try passing this off as a coincidence, you're probably following me like you did back in school. Whoa, hold it right there, you were the one always trying to up one-up me every chance you got. You were always playing your tuba way too loud in band, no one could hear my clarinet. Well maybe you shouldn't have chosen the lamest instrument and you wouldn't have been so overshadowed. Harsh Ashley May, way harsh, you're definitely not invited to my gig at the club later. So now this party is nearly at level 10, so I'm just having these three repeatedly rock out over here on the dance floor. 
Just an endless cycle of mix and scratching, limelight basking, and bass feeling. That ought to do it. There we go, we made it to level 10. Which means that it's time for these kids to head to the after party at the nightclub and see Bear's DJ set. Obviously, September is not old enough to get in, so they're sneaking her in somehow. I wish we could bring over more of the Sims from the party, but you can only invite Sims who are already in a friendship story with your Sims to the dance floor. So let's get this Become Hooked on the Baseline story going. Everyone seems to be loving it, especially this woman in the front here. What is with the wild partying elders in this town? Look at her go, she has got some moves. September's doing well back there as well. Time for a risky option. Let's try mixing genres. Maybe bring a bit of the grunge back a bit. Let's see how everyone responds to killing in the name of in the middle of the set. <laughs> everyone loved it apparently. Thumbs up. How about another tricky mashup? September looks like she's feeling it. Yes, another success. And there's that chapter done. So I guess this is our boss. You've got a good sound. I bought this club a few years ago after working here as a DJ myself, so let's say I've heard it all. Wow, really? Thank you. I sampled this underground band called Grandma's Basement. There, was that your high school garage band? That's subtle. <laughs> we got this sweet looking jukebox for that though, that's pretty cool. Eek, this new time slot is kind of intimidating. I used to have stage fright too, had to perform with a bucket over my head. I still have it in the mop closet if you want it. Um, I think I'll manage, but thanks. You could make it a thing there, like Daft Punk wearing helmets or, you know, masks or whatever. <laughs> So it's a few days after the party now, things have settled down, and Bear is just having a bit of a strum on his old guitar. He sounds a bit rusty though. So I was finally able to level up my lifestyle enough to unlock more land and more rooms, so he's actually got his own bedroom now. The girls are still sharing for now, but I think that's fine. I'm going to have Bear invite over his friend Nathaniel so I can get some more progress on the soundtrack of Soul Story we've been doing with him. Let's go ahead and do that and chill out with Nathaniel for a bit. Discuss how we've been going with our forays at the nightclub. We've got a risky action already, let's try goofing off. And we have some successful secret handshaking, well done boys. Another risky action, let's attempt a childish trick. He loves it. Nathaniel has a good sense of humour, it seems like. The only thing that could make this band better is listening to them on vinyl. 
Oh, I have them on vinyl. I have a whole vinyl collection. It's the only way to truly hear a song. Yes, I thought I was the only person who believed in the power of vinyl. No, Bear, you are not the only vinyl snob in the world, not by a long shot. You're not special. What would you do if there was no music? Wow, that sounds depressing. I guess I'd bang my head against the wall until I get a nice rhythm going. Um, may maybe don't do that? That doesn't sound safe. Well, that's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed getting to know Bear a little better this episode. I know I did. He's been a lot more fun to mess around with than I expected. We also got a little more insight into September this episode, which was nice since she's been a bit of a mystery so far. Thanks for watching everyone, Slightly Askew will be back next week and I have some new free play videos planned for the next few days, so look forward to that. Bye for now guys.